Okay, everyone. Good afternoon. I am Deputy Chief Migdalia, Emmons and Mary, I-G-D-A-L-I-A, Bolness, B as in boy, U-L-N-E-S. I'm a street deputy uh, today for the Chicago Police Department. So this afternoon, officers responded to a call at... Sorry, can you wait one second? It's a little hard to hear. So I want to make sure we sure. all the music. So first and foremost, I just want to give thanks to everybody who's standing on the on the, the street here with me. Uh, we have Alderman O'Shea that's standing here. We have a representation for the captain for SWAT, Captain Lamb. Uh, we have Deputy Chief Sonora Ben. We have officers and more SWAT uh, officers. Uh, just as a true testament of an incident that could test someone's training. So we want to thank the 22nd District for their quick response and the SWAT team for the professionalism and also attending to this and putting their training at work. Earlier today, around 11.22 p.m., I mean a.m., uh, officers responded to a call of a 10-year-old individual in distress. The 10-year-old individual was able to obtain an unsecured weapon within the home and fire multiple shots inside the home. Officers responded. Um, as soon as officers responded, um, the individual, the 10-year-old, began to shoot at the police. Uh, shots were fired at the police. Officers and SWAT individuals took cover. Um, at that point, there was discuss discussion made in terms of de-escalation for the 10-year-old individual that was in the home, uh, knowing that it is important and his age is we took into consideration. De-escalation methods uh, also that were spoken about was um, having the individual who was multiple times coming out to the porch of the home, pointing the gun at the officers, and also pointing the gun at himself and at his head. Uh, taking those considerations in, into account uh, between officers and myself, um, speaking about what would be the next uh, necessary method to um, encounter this individual. Uh, De-escalation came into play, and also least, least um, lethal method came into place as well. Um, SWAT officers, taking their training into account, fired uh, beanbags at the home, not hitting the 10-year-old minor. Um, the individual then went back in the house. The individual, 10 years old, came back out of the house, um, at this point pointing the weapon back to his head. Um, again, uh, making contact with the individual um, and having no um, further discussion with him. Um, officers, SWAT, also discussed about what would be the next method to use with this individual. Using time as a, a method here, because he is 10 years old, um, we took to account that we would use OC spray. SWAT officers deployed one OC round to the wall of the house where the 10-year-old was standing on the porch. Uh, the individual got scared, threw the gun, and they were able to detain him without incident at that point. What is OC? Can you describe what you're talking about? It is a pepper, a sort of a pepper spray that is, is sprayed, um, so that way it could control the situation that's going on. Was there someone talking with him at this time, or was there someone um, who maybe had some experience dealing with children brought in to assist with this? Because the incident was increasingly rapidly moving quickly with the individual, and he was in some kind of distress, SWAT officers made contact with him and were able to start some kind of dialogue, but he would run inside the house all the time and come right back out. So there was, it, was, it was too quick to, for them to bring a negotiator out to talk to the individual. Where did the gun come from? Is there, is that still That's under investigation at this point, and it came within the house itself, within inside. How was he when he left? Uh, he was in good uh, condition. Um, they, he's in, they took him to the hospital for observation, but he is in good condition. And was, uh, was anyone or any animal injured? No one was injured, and there was no animals in the house. Uh, there weren't any dogs? There was a dog that was with his younger brother outside of the house, but not inside the house, no. Uh, there were um, four rounds that were shot inside the house, one that was directed towards the SWAT officers. No officers were injured at this time. You, you were just saying like, that the training played, played into this yes. and his age. What do you mean by that? 
every incident is particular in regards of what's going on. Uh, for this incident, it really puts your training in, into perspective. He's a 10 year old. So it, it's a little bit more delicate because uh, he's 10 years old and he's in distress. And we know that he's a child. Uh, so that's what's in our mind when we have discussions of what's the next step. So definitely his age and the distress that he was in. It's very important for any incident, but this one in particular, because it was very, very delicate. One last question, yeah. Mike. No, I did not. No. Ms. I was going to ask how you feel about how things resolved. Looking at it as a street deputy, it was definitely, I'm impressed. I'm always impressed with the Chicago Police Department and the officers that come to incidents. They're professional, SWAT, their training it really came to forehand today in terms of making the decisions and having the conversation that we had today to have this uh, peace, peacefully uh, resolved. But actually, you know what? They, they're excellent. They did an excellent work today. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.